I finally made it back home safe and sound. I've actually been home for a few days, but I have not moved from my bed. We've got groceries delivered here and have not moved. And so as you can expect, the uh, luggage is still on the floor. I literally haven't even had the energy to look through it. I've just been like picking out things I need. Um, so now I'm watching Miss Congeniality and I'm finally going to tackle that. the next day or a few days I don't know this whole week I've just kind of been out of it but I'm getting ready to film what I spent in a week on the cruise because some of you guys asked me to do so but I wanted to show you what I recently bought from Amazon so I have a big ring light that I use for my true crime videos but I wanted to get something that I could use when I'm just vlogging or using my camera so I don't have to drag everything out so I found this one since sign ring light set and it's supposed to be just like a smaller version so let's see what it actually looks like and if it will actually work oh how cute it's just a pretty small one i really hope it doesn't take forever to put it together because i want to use it right now okay it has a little phone holder like this and then the charger for something maybe the actual ring light oh and it actually has a little remote that is bluetooth okay so it's just like a regular tripod just smaller the real problem of trying to figure out how the heck to put this on okay so there's a there's a place where you can actually put the light on the top and then on top of the light is a place where you can put the phone so basically the phone goes in the center of it that is so smart okay so i have it set up the cord is kind of short but i can work with it now let's see what it looks like it's just i think a tap does that look any better? Let's see, you can push it up, rotate. Ooh, it's like a cool yellowish. Okay, and I'm gonna film this video and then I'll come back to you because I have some more things to show you. As you can tell, it's going well so far. I just love when cats go in boxes. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. She acts all shy. You're so pretty, girl. And, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys about, yes, you're so pretty, about the new man in my life. Katniss, who am I talking about? Is it Caesar? Yeah, it's Caesar. Let's go find him. So this is the sweet boy in my life. His name is Caesar. And yeah, he's finally moved in with me and Katniss. He's the sweetest. Okay, I'll let you down. He's been with us for years. I don't know his exact age because we basically found him, or he chose me rather. Uh, we went to a Walmart parking lot to pick up some groceries and it was raining outside and all of a sudden I hear these cries and so I'm like come here kitty kitty you know like walking around trying to find where the noise is coming from and all of a sudden this little tiny white kitty comes running full force at me jumps into my arms 
and then I get in the car and he's completely content. Like, I am his mother, he has chosen me, and he's ready to go. Turns out that we took him to the vet, he has a microchip, he has owners, they didn't want him. He was just like a barn cat and he said, I am not a barn cat, this is not the life I choose, I wanna live in luxury inside. <laughs> and so, apparently he knew that with me, that's what he would get. He hasn't been here for around a year now just because really my family loves him and wanted more time with him before I took him. He's over there just making a mess. He obviously wants some attention, but yeah, so they've officially kind of, I kind of just took him because I was like, he's my cat, I want him. I think Katniss half enjoys him being here, half wishes he didn't exist. He's the sweetest little boy. He cuddles with me every single night. And he also comes, he does this thing. I'll see if I can get it on camera later, but he comes and headbutts you. So if he is wanting some love or if he feels like you're upset, he'll come up and he'll just do this. And then he wants you to like headbutt him. And that's like his show of affection. Just motherhood, you know. Candace and I officially have a man, a, a boy in our lives. And I can actually stand him. <laughs> So I don't know if you will care in the slightest, but those of you who do go gluten-free, you might care. So I have been testing out everything I possibly can that won't hurt my stomach, and I wanna show you some of my favorites. Okay, so this is not a whole grocery haul by any means. It's just some of my favorites that I found trying so many things out. So first thing we'll go to is the cauliflower crust pizza by life cuisine it's a three meat pizza with a cauliflower crust obviously completely gluten free and it doesn't hurt my stomach and it's actually good like it's a good frozen pizza you can have and then we have up here the quaker apple cinnamon rice crisps and they are they're just small little rice crisps that i love to actually dip in peanut butter katniss is rubbing along the camera those are really good to have as a snack. And then this bread has been the best that I've found so far. The Canyon Bakehouse Mountain White, or sometimes I do the grain. Breads are really hard to find that are actually edible gluten-free. I'm also looking for gluten-free buns if you have any recommendations. These guys will be the best snack you ever had. Glazed donuts, you keep them in the freezer and you just let them thaw a little bit. I'll actually show you. So it looks like a regular donut and then you just have them thaw a little bit and you can finally have donuts again. They're by the Cats brand. I find these at Target if that helps. I also find these at Target which I have for breakfast. Banana chocolate chip muffins made with zucchini and they are really good. You also keep these in the freezer and just warm them up in a little bag. It's super easy. Okay, sorry, my camera died, but these are another one of my favorites. You can't even tell that they're gluten-free. I eat one of these a week, literally, <laughs> even though that's horrible. Um, and then this is more of a like help me instead of a recommendation. I like these, they're okay. They're kind of dry, but I cannot find any other good gluten-free pasta. So let me know if you know any. Can we have a moment for this dress? Because I think it is adorable. It even has pockets. And guess where I got it from? Walmart. That's insane, isn't it? What? <laughs> was not expensive at all. The only reason I picked it up is because an outfit I was wearing got a stain on the butt. So I was like, I have to get an outfit. But I actually really like it. It's just flowy and so cute but what i was going to talk to you about was that i cannot believe that i am not sick i am one that has a horrible immune system and the only thing that i did to like prepare was i took this airborne airborne immune system vitamin c support before and then after the trip i don't know if that helped However, unfortunately, my mother did get sick. So I went over to her house the other day, dropped off with some like sick supplies, some candies to make her feel better. But at the same time, I was like, I'm gonna go now because for some reason I'm not sick. And so I'm out of here. I don't know how she would have gotten sick and I didn't considering we touched all the same things, we went all the same places. So 
Right now I'm trying to book a fill for my nails because they're cute, but they're definitely grown out. And I feel like I want to keep up with them because they make me feel so classy. I don't know. Look what an angel he is. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. He's a good boy. I know. I'll leave you alone. But yeah, I'm finally feeling more revived after the trip. It's been literally a week since we got home, I think. It took me that long, but I figured it would. I've just been taking it easy on work and everything. Um, but now I'm like, I want to plan more trips. I want to go more places. And I've been looking at different places that I could go. And I'm like really in the Halloween spirit this year. I don't know why I've been watching um, like paranormal videos like by Haley Reese um, all day yesterday and today just because I'm in that mood. But I, I would love to go someplace like where the Halloween Town was filmed, where Vampire Diaries was filmed, someplace like that. But they're all so far away from me. And also... I really have no one to go with like my mom obviously can't go with me everywhere and there's just that's the bad thing like it's awesome that I get to go whenever I want because I don't have a boss you know but it also is like well everyone around me does so who do I go with because I want to do solo trips and stuff but at the same time, the true crime brain of mine is like, why would you do that? That's so incredibly stupid, <laughs> you know, like don't go by yourself. But then the independent part of my brain is like, no, like you can totally do it. You can do things on your own. It's not a big deal. So I also wanted to tell you about three of my favorite products that I have been using recently and they are all sunscreen <laughs> on vacation. They were lifesavers. I didn't get burnt except for a spot right in the back of my neck, which of course I forgot because my hair was there. Um, and so other than that, I was just using this and then just like a regular sunscreen all over my body. But for face, I use Elta MD SPF 46 and this one is the tinted one and even for my pale skin I can blend it in and then you know I use my foundation so it looks just fine and it works incredibly well it doesn't burn my eyes and it doesn't break me out either which is so hard to find and then when I start to get like sweaty when I'm outside, I go ahead and apply the Super Goop Resetting Mineral Powder Sunscreen. It's SPF 35 and no, I wouldn't just use this as your SPF. It's kind of just like a, I mean, you can get maybe a little bit of SPF, but really you need SPF and then, you know, just have a little 
thing with you in case you want to you know really i used it as more of a powder knowing that maybe it could help a little bit with spf because when you get really sweaty and you have makeup on you know you don't want to like wipe it so really i just went ahead and took this and i like shook it to get the product down and then i just kind of like blotted it where i was sweaty and it made me feel so much better look so much better and then oh whole bag fell over and then this guy neutrogena beach defense water and sun protection sunscreen stick 50 plus i use this all over my neck and my chest in fact i'm gonna be out in the sun so i might as well and you just it's like a deodorant and you just rub it all over you and it leaves you not with a greasy feeling but looking shiny and beautiful and i take this and reapply every basically every two hours sometimes more if i feel like it and it makes the reapplication process of sunscreen so much easier and i will actually do it with this guy rather than actual like lotion sunscreen that i don't want to pull out and also if you don't care you know sometimes you will get makeup on this if you use it on your face and you're wearing makeup but i would recommend getting one for your body and then one for your face and then just of course wiping it off if you want to just go over your makeup with it i mean you can do the sprays the powders all of that but if you want a little more protection and you want to actually put sunscreen back on i would recommend this just kind of swipe it all over you can use it on your face as well if you don't have any makeup on and you just want to use this as sunscreen it's really incredible there's also no smell to this guy there's no smell to any of them not that awful sunscreen smell and you can tell i'm glowy and this is right after i put it on so it'll <laughs> mattify a little bit and not look like i'm sweating profusely foundation is also partially sunscreen spf 50 but don't just ever use a foundation with SPF and think that's enough. It's not enough with how much you're using it, but I just like to have like multiple layers. This is a strawberry acai refresher. With lemonade. With, oh, with lemonade. And it's actually really good. It's got little strawberries at the top. Yay. Now we're gonna go get our nails done. <laughs> I had to, sorry. I'm currently giving American Psycho. But it's a great mask. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Hydro Gel Mask. And um, I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Lotion. And my skin has been so dry recently, getting on retinol. So... This is, this is where we're at, looking like American Psycho. It's a Sunday, I'm in my PJs still, haven't left my bed. And I'm also eating chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> that was a smile, but I don't think you could tell. I'm also just sitting here watching Danielle Caroline, her vlogs, and I'm ready to chow down. I love making chocolate covered strawberries. I just make them myself most of the time. And then with the leftover chocolate, I'll put it on a gluten-free Oreo and just dip it in, get a little something extra. I did end up getting my nails done yesterday. This is how they look. I really like them, just more of a simple neutral. So yeah, even though I look like this, I'm going to end off the vlog because I think I have enough footage. And I've just been, you know, finally getting it together. Tomorrow is Monday of the second week since I've been home and I'm finally ready to actually get back to work. So yeah hope this has been interesting glad i got to show you the new man in my life little Susie bear and i'm gonna go now <laughs> bye